So Washington is waiting for the CBO, Congressional Budget Office, to announce their scoring of the House health care bill. The numbers are coming, maybe today. Republicans want to say, this bill is going to cover more people and cost less. The Republicans, including the White House, are attacking them, saying their numbers don't have credibility. And the CBO is silent. There's no spokesman out there explaining their methodology, defending their role in the world. Let's see if they'll let us come over and they can explain themselves. Congressional Budget Office Public Affairs. Director's Office, Maine, CBO. It's not available. Please hold. Someone will help you in a moment. Let's see. That's a, but the government claims that all the time. Director's Office, Maine, CBO. It's not available. Please hold. Someone will help you in a moment. Is someone going to help me or not? Director's Office, Maine, CBO. Oh, my goodness. It's not available. I'm on the Record kind of treadmill people don't like about Washington. Well, just call him. We did call him before, and he got voicemail. We went to an endless voicemail loop. And I just find it hilarious that CBO, we can't get him on the phone. I haven't seen them quoted anywhere. They're acting like they just want to be the Wizard of Oz. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the man behind the curtain, or at least we're going to try. And I'm going to attempt to do the unthinkable, which is walk into a government building without an appointment. CBO, here we come. Do you know the old saying about reports gathering dust on the shelf? Yeah, there's a little dust on these things. There's a little dust on these things. How are you doing? Yeah, how are you? Deborah Kilroy, CBO. Hi, Mark Kalper. Nice hey, to Mark. see you. Hey, Couldn't get anybody on the phone, so we decided to just come on over. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. It's um, that's okay. Um, we'd love a tour. Could we get a tour? Um, you know? We just wanted to, we want, we feel like CBO is under attack. Uh -huh. People are questioning the work even before it comes out on this important report. We are just, we're so busy. Yeah, are the coming? numbers coming out today? They're coming in as soon as we can get them out. Really? Could that be today? It could be. Could we hang out till they come out? That's you. We'd it's love to. You. Yeah, so the cafeteria is here. I mean, literally in the history of Washington, how many people have staked out the CBO? <laughs> I think this is a first. We're having breakfast now. We can have lunch. I don't know. They serve dinner here. C. B. You can yeah, see. D. Oh. You asked me to try something. You tried it. You did it. Lift your oh. legs. Try to lift your legs. We're like, you know what we're like? We're like uh, Lucy on the, on the peanuts. We're going for business. And the lunch rush is beginning. It's 11 13. We're a little early. We're open for business. You know what we could do? This is back to my old tricks. Let's deliver them some pizzas. Deliver food upstairs. Right? You know, I'll plead with her a little more. I'll be like, come on. Give us some behind the scenes. What happened? Four. We're going up. Okay. Deborah, how's it going? Good, how are you? These are for you. Give slices to whoever worked the hardest on the thing. No, well, we were just watching CNN right. down there, and they're like, Everyone's waiting. Everyone's waiting. This is it. Mm -hmm. There's a vegetarian one. Okay. And there's a bunch of meat ones. Okay. All right, we'll be downstairs. Take Let care. us know. Thank you. All right. They're focused. I think that's a lesson we learned here. They're focused. The ETA on the CBO numbers is uh, end of the day, right before a storm and after they finish their pizzas. 